Andy Murray against Milos Raonic for a place in the finals against Novak Djokovic. That's a nice nerve settler. Love it, Tim. Or should I say, what nerves? Of steel. Great anticipation, cool as you like. And that's exactly what Mark was talking about in the build-up to this one. Love the Which more is improved at the net. Yes, and not only have the hands been heavy in the past, but he, he just hasn't been able to use his, you know, up at net intuitively move to mm -hmm. the ball either. Yeah, his court positioning, his off the ball movement hasn't been good, hasn't been natural. Love 40. You know how often um, matches involving Milos Raonic, one break of serve is often enough to wrap up a set, and this would be the perfect start for the young Canadian. Three break points. The blocks like Usain Bolt's first game. What a statement of intent that is, Woody. Oh, one thing he's uh, not scared of doing is uh, throwing down the bombs and consolidating breaks. Let's have a look at the first service game of Milos Raonic. so much about Love the Raonic serve, Mark. I think a key for him uh, with some of the improvement that he's made over the last two years is that he's just not going for the one pace bomb. He's been able to provide some deception, different paces, different spins. It's a problem if you miss out on that big first serve. Murray, quick to make the Canadian pay. And that's going to be an important shot as well, getting Raonic wide on the forehand. Prefers to dictate proceedings out of the backhand corner with the forehand. So Murray, through the tournament, uh, returning any opponent's second serve has been leading in that statistical department. 
showing us here out to three break points, responding quickly. The first, first serve he's made in a match. 15-14. intelligent serve as well the body surf used often enough in my book not on the f uh, often enough on the first mm -hmm. the body serve again there Tennis under pressure. Now, I be honest, and I never saw the, the Rayonich uh, match against Monfils, but this was a type of tennis, the brand that he brought against Dan Vavrinka. Trying to move Vavrinka out wide to the forehand, that's his vulnerable side, and then mounted that attack into the backhand. He did it with ease for the first two sets. Big. Yes. And that's probably where I would think that Raonic tonight might focus on that first delivery into the body. He knows he's playing one of the best returners. He likes to have room to swing. Advantage runners. I know it's early on in the match, but if Milos is able to hold here, it'll be a big momentum switcher. Here's Will. Big take back, but timing is impeccable. A little hop on the left foot. Five impeccable points in a row, Mark. And not all of them behind that first delivery. The majority of them were. And it's what makes the difference for, for Milos. It's already a, a vocal Andy. Annoyed that he didn't break right back there. It was a golden opportunity to make Milos feel uncomfortable out here. about the mind shift that goes on Good as a player money. when you break first game you're down love 40 and you're thinking i'm going to get back to level terms oh, are you thinking that i uh, for sure oh. Oh, you're thinking oh don't tell me i'm going to get broken your second game after starting so well surely that's got to cross the mind I, uh, sorry i thought you were talking for andy murray that uh, would be looking of course i'm going to break at love 40. He's been working hard, just trying to keep hold of his nerves, not getting too involved in the matches. Milos, almost robotic-like. And I think that emotional control serves you well in situations like that when you are Love 40 down after having broken early on. You don't get too down on yourself. You know there's still a slight chance of holding. 40 for 10. Good mental fortitude early on. It's so important at big matches like this to start well. Grow the belief that you belong. Game. Murray. It's a better service game from Andy. Ready fired up early on. Milos 
cool as a cucumber, 2-1. It's an early break going Please away any seat. in the opening game Jim, for Jim. Raonic. So being fully focused on your deal. Just a bit of movement behind Andy. There's some VIPs are just taking their seats there Please in the front row. Ready for play. There they are. Thank you. Can we please just take any seats for now? Thanks. <laughs> uh, those are the cheap seats, always giving those uh, at the corporate hospitality a hard time. And in the past, uh, after a serve like that, Milos, when he was offered some of the short balls, he would really rush some of these approach shots and he would never get settled. The ball would come to him very fast and he would lose confidence quickly once he got to net. Oh, how good's that? Great feel at the Pretty end of his long. range. The approach shot, not struck with a lot of power. He's given it some height for him to be able to balance in order to execute. And he's executed that one. Perfectly, yeah. What do you see Murray use that block return a lot today. It's very effective off the first serve. He used it a lot against... Alexander Zverev in his opening match. Made the young German hit a lot of balls. So I think the fact that he's already made a lot of returns will help. There it is again. Mammy broke Sam Groth four times two. in a row. Start of their match. Groth maybe overawed playing against Murray out here on this court. There's a, a, a different type of a, a volley. Didn't get down as well as perhaps he should have. That's really pulling it apart. Again, Roman. That's what we call a boomski. Large and in charge. Early doors here. Ranic. Of course, has been actually the youngest player to reach the Aussie Open final since Novak, incidentally. 2012. What a perfect service motion it is. So relaxed. Look at the facial expression. Great extension upwards, rotation of the upper body. Mm -hmm. on an on match winning streak as well so an indication of the fact that he's uh, in fine fettle mark you know what it's like when you go on those streaks and you start winning exactly up in brisbane cleanly through the tournament and that's tie with his best winning streak on tour ever so 30 mm -hmm. it's always and, nice and at the end of the brisbane tournament you know when you're taking out someone as, as grand as Roger Federer. Mm -hmm. that, the extra injection of confidence. That's the whole package. Talk about that win. The fact that he's defeated three-seated players at a major for the first time as well this week. You know, all the signs are there. That this guy is re ready to make the move and take it to the next level. Ramich is going to rest on his lowers, and he's given him a wake-up call. 
but it's the Canadian who still leads by an early Brown break. 3-2. Is he going to make it through or Andy Murray? Try to become the first man in the open era to eventually triumph after losing four finals at a major. Beautifully with that forehand. 15 lines. Get in the past, right? when he's had some of these shorter forehands, he's rifled it deep into the corner. But like that one there is the winning shot. But early in the rally, he played a short forehand, lovely cross court. It really did push Murray out to end range. 30 even. He got a little predictable in the past, I think, Ray on it. Now there's much more variety, some subtlety about his play. Of course, with a certain volley on the previous point, you always got to think twice about using a chip return that's so effective. Because you chip it a little too high, it's an easy volley. So early on, this guy's given Murray plenty to think about already on serve. Again, round it. Ramping it up nicely, hitting his spots. Round it reads four games to two. Keeping Murray at arm's length. The quad squad, as I like to call them, they've been here the last uh, 10 days, been at all of Andy's matches. I'd love to know who's uh, getting them tickets, because they, they aren't cheap, Mark. No, but where, where are they, Luke? They're not in the same seats as they were last match. Fifteen months. as well and I think it's important early on now that Brownich has a break up go after Andy's second serve without a doubt we've uh, always been concerned with the pace difference between the, off the first and the second of Andy Murray can just sit there on that second line already 30, 15. the amount of returns that Raonic is making impressive at one of the lowest percentage of returns made of uh, a lot of top flight players in 2015 he was hitting that shot well Compliments him about how well he hits the inside out forehand, but the front cross court so far has been equally impressive. And this is like a set point. Maddie Little on the right, Emily Maresma on the left will be concerned. It's just the one break. Andy will fancy his chances of getting one more crack at breaking Raonic, but two done and dusted. A 
it's an important shot for Murray, not necessarily his favourite. Juice. Love the serve, though. He's able to just move Milos off from getting a, a big healthy hit on the forehand return. Yeah, power slot on the forehand is normally cross court, so he's done well to make that one. Advantage, Murray. It's often where I've seen some of the biggest turnarounds in a set when a player has a chance to go up a double break. He knows the set's pretty much done if he wins that point. He doesn't, server holds, and then gets broken the next game. All of a sudden, it's, it's on as even. That's for serve. Oh, anything you can do. Game. That Murray is a please. very important hold. Murray still looming large in the rear view mirror Ramage of leads, the Canadian. 4-3 first set. Serving with new balls here. Break to the good. Good team good love. Team. 2.33 this one. But uh, just under half a second to react to it. Fifteen. Right idea, but didn't need to thread it up the line. That's where I think he has been playing very wise. Raonic, sometimes taking the pace off, allowing him to get into position. Certainly not going towards a too small a target. Thirty fifteen. necessarily loading on the forehand there wasn't a lot of pace on this ball just come through too soon before contact Murray is in the call on the left baseline. The ball was called out. He expects to make every return, Mark, when he gets his record on the ball. He wasn't able to handle the heat there. 40 30. Murray has two challenges in Great return out when you do get to game point and close it out. Run it leads five games to three. As soon as possible, preferably the first time of asking. Got the change of speed there, just 190 k's an hour. Lots of spin though. Doesn't beat Murray with pace on that occasion. Thirty-eight. 
30 30 even. Thirty fifteen. That first year. Granite just gained some proof a lot is the movement mark. In years gone by, he wouldn't have made up the ground like he did here. I think his dynamic balance is better, his movement at the net is better. Sandy Murray will force Aranich to serve this set out. Aranich leads five games to four. Early break, it separates these two. Five for the Canadian leads. He hasn't lost serve yet. Remember in his uh, opening service game, he was down low 40, saved all three break points, won five points in a row. Let's see what he can do here. Serving to pocket the opening stanza. 15 love. There's that added variation. Love it. He's not just sending it down with max pace. Yeah, clarity of thought there. Mm -hmm. No panic. That will annoy Murray because uh, scoreboard pressure you applied 15 all. It's uh, a lot more than when Ranich is stepping up to the line at 30 love. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Has been really effective so far this evening. Especially when you come in as aggressively as Murray does behind the return, takes a couple of big steps. It's given Milos two set points. Back deeper to return Four that serve, uh, Murray. Pretty much a, a full-blooded strike on the return. He's able to get himself on top in that rally. Rayonich's best serve here. Favourite one? Yeah, wide. Yeah. The slider gives him control. Yeah, 
called out. Yeah, okay. Brown is to the call on the left serve. The ball was caught out. So Jake Corona, they're just following the serve. Didn't see around its challenge immediately. But I think this is long. No, it's not. It's a line licking winner. Punctuates the opening set with Six an ace. Six games to four, the Canadian. Start to be more aggressive. I think his body's maybe warmed up now. He played a long physical match Second against Ferrer. Murray to yeah, adrenaline should be kicking in for Murray. I think Anything he's got to start becoming a bit more aggressive with his play. Please take any seat for now, ready for play. He was just a little tentative in his opening service game and paid the price. Here we go, set number two. Lofferton. It's a frustrating volley because you, you're not going to hit a winner there. It's all about depth control. You're not going to beat him with width. As a volley, you have to make that quick decision, don't you? You're going to go for placement, position, so that you get a second volley, or are you going to try and hit the, the firm volley, try and beat them with pace? I think there, though, the decision making is easy. Right? The ball's below the heart of the net. The opponent's got a good court position. He's already moving back to the middle. It's, you know, it's, for me, that's an easy one. Just deep to the backhand corner. Set the point up and say, can you pass me? Heavy rally, Vajonic. Just maybe taking one extended step there. Couldn't quite fit in maybe two smaller steps. Would have helped with his balance. 40-15. Again, yeah. Murray. It's a better start to the set. And start contrast to the first game, first game of the match. I think they've got a little better seating uh, today. They're a lot closer to the court. I'm only looking for all the help he can get. He needs it at the moment. He's down a sit. Good team, man. Jake, if he's a hundred percent sure if that serve was in, Jake said yes. Yeah. Almost the same mark there. Pretty even. Those kind of serves are good for both boxes, Mark. It's a serve that I think Murray uses very well on that ad court slider T.
30-15. What a huge difference it is for Raonic when he makes that first serve versus the second. And it's 84% of the points when he lands the first serve. Just 29% of points won behind the second. I mean, that's another important facet of the baseline game. When Murray does make a ball, to remain aggressive in the baseline rally. Sometimes he gets passive, Mark. He's just is happy to put balls back in play and, and just defend. Got to be careful of doing that against this guy. Got to stay aggressive. Try and bully Raonic. Thirty forty. See the direction of the return. A bit more of a, a strike, the return down the middle, and Rayonic kind of recoiling from his serve. Caught his forehand way late. So he hasn't seen a break point since that second game of the first set. That is one wonderful strike. <laughs> 229 as well. Right into the body, backhand wing. He said, well, just to get that one back in play. Tough a shot in the book. Evans, Evans. Superb didn't overcommit moving forward there. Runic and coolly placed. I mean, he literally had a square foot to hit that into if it wanted to be a winner, and he found it. Part for Andy, you know, dealing with the disappointment and of not being able to break, having chances, getting the return back in play. And Milos coming up with a, a forehand of rich quality. Absolutely pulverized it. He's defended his second serve a lot better than what Milos has done his. I wouldn't say that uh, it was a bad backhand from Rayonic. He's made a healthy living out of hitting this shot. It's bought him some pretty nice real estate in Cobham. And Miami. And London. And Scotland. Train in Miami during the off-season this year. He spent most of his time in Dubai, did Andy. Wanted to be a little closer to home. <laughs> oh, 
think he's made it. Murray is challenging the call on the way to baseline. The ball is caught in. Look at from uh, where where position. But again, coolly played by Milos. Made sure he got the racket face open. Went for that position of play. Murray has two challenges remaining. That's exactly what it was all about: depth control. Great positional play. Just didn't feel like he committed to that forehand. Kind of into the middle of the court. It's like it kicked in a little too late that he should be aggressive with that forehand. Correction, Pascal. Correction, Pascal. Further one from, yeah, challenge it. Round the call on the left serve, the ball was. Oh, this will be certainly in. interesting. If Jake has this one. I'm serving, I can challenge that ball, but you can't walk up to the line, ask which mark it is, and then challenge. He, he showed immediate interest in. I don't care whether he showed immediate interest. You have to, you said it's in a clear and timely manner. Yeah. In my opinion, that's not in a clear and timely manner. But, he clearly, from the beginning, from the time the call was made, he had interest in whether or not that was that was in. He just asked which mark it was. He, he, he didn't take the... Not saying, oh, I'm going to challenge which mark is it. That's how it, should, that's how it should work. I'm with him. Shouldn't be asking the umpire which mark it is. Uh, I, I disagree. I, I'm, I'm with Milos on that one. I mean, you've got to challenge straight away. You can't walk up, see where the mark is, and then decide to challenge. I, I like the response uh, Jake gave, actually. So how much interest are you allowed to show before you eventually decide you're going to challenge or not? It's got to be immediate, right? Yeah. yeah. Murray. We'll discuss that on the change of end. Stick with us here. Still early Murray doors. Andy Murray leads 2-1 second set. First set to the Canadian. Up, if anything, it's, it's going to get the, Love the team team. confidence coursing through his veins. He almost likes those little battles. Here we go. I think she's sensing this is an opportunity, and she just wants, would like Andy also at break point the last game. I've got a sneaky feeling this has caught a piece of the line. Just there was enough skid on it. That's my gut feeling. Yeah, good call. You've the points. It's a tricky one because Murray had that short forehand. Does he feel uh, he's missed out there? Milos thinking, well, I've had a good defensive shot there. I've been shortchanged. It's the beauty of Hawker. Mm. One uh, just slips through his fingers. I thought a little bit of a D cell there on the back end, didn't really commit to it. Oh. 
compliments Pretty that fitting. bomb down the middle with that slider out wide so beautifully. Talked about the fact that he's becoming such an intelligent server. It's not always the big one. Oh, it's a back-to-back -back points it was. 40-15. The, the different spin as well, not just the, the changing velocity that he goes with Milos. Moy will be happy, so we'll record a Piatti on the right, Two mum and dad, on. just behind. Not creating a lot of space for Murray to run into off that volley. Down the centre corridor, I'm not sure if it was a deliberate volley, but certainly helped win him the game. Fifteen on. And the parallels from tonight's match to last night's encounter with Djokovic and, Djokovic and Federer. Djokovic looking for that backhand, the two-hander up the line. It's a good miss for me. The fact that he's trying to take the ball early. Got to do that against a guy like Murray who defends so well. It's how you create space on the other side of the court. savvy there not trying to pull the trigger he was under a lot of uh, stress Ranić just keeping it low asking the question for of Murray good off the ball movement as well from him following the line of the ball covering the line Murray saw that out of the corner of his eye yeah. Yeah. Murray 
settling into the service rhythm nicely now is Andy. He leads 3-2, second two. set. So you always got to be ready against these top guys. 15 minutes. Nice ratio for both players coming to net. You just see the direction that how quickly Murray nearly made that backhand up the line. And the first time I think tonight, Robbie, we've seen a, a few bites of the passing shot for Murray. He's tried to lob a lot from the backhand, hasn't he? But this is such an intelligent shot against a big guy with a big reach. Got right at them. Okay, let's see how you can handle this when it's close to your body. Got the answer right there. Turns a favor. Yeah. Straight right into it. the body. That serve has been so good for him tonight. And what it's obviously not allowing Murray to have a full swing, but have a look at him. He's jumping up as well. So the velocity of the return is compromised. It sits up nicely for Milos to put away the forehand. It's having the mindset, uh, not being worried that the serve's going to come back. You're ready just to nail that first ball, two-shot combination. Mm -hmm. So often big servers are looking for the cheap point all the time, the ace or the unreturnable. Thirty on. Off balance there with the forehand, still moving through laterally. For a good, a good change of grip there. Oh. And he's got away with a poor passing shot there. Uh, it was miss hit. Pretty he was conservative. I feel I should be kicking himself, Mark. I like the idea. For Milos, number 26. In the unforced errors. That unforced error on the volley. It's given Murray break points. Brave, isn't it? It is, and uh, it gets such a fine line right there. I think maybe, of say, 12 months or longer ago, we would not have seen Milos try this once more. But prepared to put it on the line and reward it. Fortune favors the brave. And no panic. That would have been a bit of a surprise that he's pulling the trigger on the forehand, hits it back to Murray, but just balance that one. Had to quickly make sure the footwork operating back. Has he ever missed a, an overhead? He's got a good hop on him, hasn't he? Thoughts. It's right underneath Jake's nose, so. Quick overall, authoritative, that's what you want. Juice.
Ground actually sounds on the call on the right far sideline. The ball was called out. We play the points. giving it to John McEnroe, you cannot be serious. That's great anticipation. He is really getting underneath Murray's skin at the net now. I mean, how often have we yeah, seen right. Robbie in today's players when they put up a, a half volley, they kind of give up on the point that Milos commits to just hanging in there for a little bit longer, using his presence and his long wingspan. Tremendous. Great game. Important game for... The Canadian. That just means the belief that starts to grow inside of you. Toughing out a big game. So many lesser players who wouldn't be able to hang on their serve in this kind of situation. He really has defended the serve well. Look how he stamps that right leg just off the contact with the ball. Look how close he is to the net as well. So that allows him to be a little bit more aggressive, desperate to take that volley on before it drops below the heart of the net. Wonderful urgency. Mm -hmm. Thirty. That's what you want to from Murray. Quick hold here. Get around at serving again. And feels like you're serving all the time when you're the opponent. Roundage so good at doing that to his opponents. Quick hold here. Murray will put the shoe on the other foot. And he will do it yeah. here. Murray. Speedy hold. Murray special that one was. Murray leads. So Murray back out in front here in set number two. So more importantly, the Canadian has bagged the opening stanza. This is something special about nighttime tennis at a major. We see it in New York. Thank you, please take any seat for now. Especially so here. Yeah. He has yes. been miraculous over the course of his career. A Wimbledon champion, US Open champion, Olympic gold medal, and of course he's added the so Davis Cup. Balls. To his trophy cabinet. I forgot to show um, Milos the new balls in the previous game. Just apologizing for that. Fifteen. Hey. in second serve used the heavy kicker but there was the speedy one to the body again I mean, if, if this was uh, ever a good advert for the body serve you know it 
so underutilized by a lot of the big servers these days, especially against it's a new breed of world-class returners. I'm really impressed with this guy's base level of play. 35. He has dropped off. It's, it's only been for, you know, maybe two points. It's never three or four. No, it hasn't hung on. No. They would have then just masked with the strong serving. Mm -hmm. and the reaction when he does uh, lose a couple of the points, it's, there's no, no reaction whatsoever. Negativity has just disappeared. <laughs> Finally, he's got one over his head, Mark. He made it something quite special. 30 15. So it was a bit of a botch this half volley. But he quickly gets into athletic pose. Got to say, too good. Pick up on the point you made about his mentality you know, after this one. He had a similar sort of demeanor on court to Ranich. I remember playing against him, he gave nothing away. Now, was that your natural personality, or did you work hard at masking any negative thoughts? Yeah, it was, it's just something that I, tr I tried to you know, let grow grow of not showing too many you know feelings to the opponent so you worked on yeah. it work, worked on it as it, you know i think we all have four yeah. stages of your career there are moments and probably early on i was very nervous tight in some of my matches and showed that to my opponents who then kind of went in for the for the kill but they, they started to pummel me because it, they could see my reaction so just learn over time that you know don't it's hard enough to win points don't give them any extra freebie points by showing that you're annoyed maybe just internalize it Played us in uh, in doubles in, in singles. I Love generally was like that. In doubles, I played. My partner was a hothead. He was the one that showed the emotions, and so that kind of, you know, almost like okay, I'm. If he is, I'm not going to, you, you know, allow. Can't balance him out. Yeah. And I hope he gave you a substantial percentage of his prize money. In true partnership fashion. 50-50. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Not one horse, one rabbit. <laughs> That's for sure. Woodford and uh, Woodbridge cost me a fair bit of cash in, in my time. I think I suffered six losses to them. That's the reason my kids don't go to private schools anymore. Oh, that's in. Ah. Oh. Fifteen thirty. right here for Ranich. Tell you what, that is not an easy shot. It's a shank return. There's all kinds of spin on this. It's his power zone. 
cross court on the forehand. Sticking to your favorite patterns of play under pressure. That's There. Just got it a, a fraction early. You tell the intent from Raonic was to bully that backhand cross court. I wouldn't have minded a, a chip, slot, uh, a backhand chip, and come in, ask the question. Raonic is challenging the ball on the right serve. The ball was called in the game. So Murray's favourite. It looked good for width, but I don't know about the length, though. It might have been long, Mark. Maybe it was wide, no. Yeah, Murray. 95% out. Is a very much in in our sports. Big hold for Murray. He leads 5 4, second set. First set, Raonic. Serving to stay in the second set. Fifteen months. First serve there. Raonic just flat into the body. So he's going down the court. So he's going to utilize any sliders. The off pace one just there. Good team. This is where Gum got if you didn't uh, see it in previous matches. He grinds his teeth so much, both when he plays and when he sleeps. There it is. That's intelligent tennis. There's a, a backhand of Milos that could have maybe taken another half step into it. He took that uh, extended leap, a step, I should say, a backhand slice on that one there. And it opened the door for Murray. What this guy's done his homework. 30 on he was camped all over the middle of that net. I mean, the approach wasn't much, was it? But he knows Murray likes that cross court forehand pass, and his body weight is going that way, he's leaning that way. Of course, Murray didn't hit his spot, but it made the volley even easier. Good for sure. Shot in the bag. I mean, 
each and every forehand, the angle was getting more and more acute. Combination of spin and pace has to be perfect. Thin contact with the ball. gut feel here, Mark, is uh, Ranich going to hold or not? I, I believe he'll sneak through this. That was a bit of a, a snap on that forehand. That is such high-quality tennis. Advantage Ranich. And again, it's just the whole mindset. We speak about it, the fact that he knows this ball is going to come back. He doesn't panic. He's prepared to use a two-shot combination. Yeah, very much aware, expecting the ball to come back. Ranich. Hard backhand volley, one of the toughest shots in the business, especially when you've got Murray on the Five other side two. of the court. So difficult to hit a clean winner off it. He's done really well. Good call from uh, M. Woodford alongside me. Gotta trust those gut instincts. Thought he would squeak it out. Ranich did. Five apiece. Team team. Good first point. Relief for Murray to take it in the end. Thirty. Oh, it looks a little like my two iron. Don't have as much control over it, often uh, fading it wide, Mark. Lefty? Just the fade pot, not really the lefty pot. So I'm very happy with the invention of hybrids. Murray. Another comfortable hold from Murray. Yeah, he's been Playing a lot of pressure Murray to the Six Canadian, so far. so far has withstood it. Murray sends him on the left far sideline, the ball is caught in. Got the line. It's just one of those check challenges. He wants to make 100% sure. 15. Where he has one challenger. It's so good it's got to be against him. Oh! Should you get an additional challenge if it goes into a tiebreaker? Fit 
Valentino. There's the, the, team. Team. the trust that he has to have in himself there, Brown. Not desiring to hit the clean winner. Just back yourself. Volleyed exceptionally well tonight. Manager sounds the call on the left far side. The ball's got it. Another one of these close ones, maybe just wide. Yeah. There's checking. 30 all. Round and chance one and challenge remaining. It's again, it's Murray who's got to 30 all. Canadian serve. been able to break this break point also happens to be a set point for Andy Game in the second set. he has now this battle well and truly joined seven and Murray's seven won five. the second set and five it's a set apiece game on Thank you. Any seat for now. Give me added advantage of serving first in the third. Mark Woodford alongside me, Rob Koenig, thoroughly enjoying this contest. We had a sneaky feeling this one was going to be a lot tighter than Djokovic Federer match, given how well Novak's played against Roger of late. Head to head here, three apiece. I think when we put it all in the pot, you take into consideration how well he's been playing lately. Winning in Brisbane, beating Federer. Always felt that he was going to certainly stand a decent chance of causing an upset. That's for sure. And, and the stat just there, there have been the spread between the, the two of them that may, in the end, you know, be the difference for Milos, though, if he's. making enough winning shots and, and forcing Murray into error, then it does cancel out the, the unforced errors. But I think as this match now starts to build up, uh, you, you know, we've got a meaty third set to play. Ranich of Sun for this at the start of the match. A set apiece. Oh. 
Gen. Mary. First game, third series. Yeah, I, I would, uh, I, I think Milos is quite okay being a, a set of piece. I have a strong suspicion that uh, there was no real, I can win this in three sets. I think he was prepared for the battle. Yes. You've got to play those mind games with yourself, haven't you? Even if you've been up a set and a break, you've got to say, you've got to try and create perspective in your mind. These are the mind games you play with yourself as a tennis player. You look up at the, the scoreboard and think, okay, it's, it's set all. Would I have been happy with this? Like just my second major semi final? I think so. Yeah. I'm with you. Handling the the uh, conditions the in their environment yeah very more, well yeah stable than what he did at Wimbledon But it felt nice coming off the face there. Bit of a lean on the back end. Flushed it, didn't he? Thirty. Mm -hmm. Daring down that center line, willing it to have missed by a whisker. That's second. Team. This game is heading a while. That'll be a nice settler for the Canadian. One game on. No, I don't think he held serve to love at all in that second set. Good reflex volley there from Murray. So continues to go forward. That's the key to move in the V. Cut off the angle rather than moving laterally. Thirty. 
as we often speak about uh, the sleeve on his arm. Of course, that's got its own Twitter handle, I think. I believe in the sleeve. Let's not forget the hair as well. That's got one too. Hashtag swear by the hair. 40 love. It's got a lot of product in there. It's a new product, isn't it, this year? It doesn't move. It's a little shorter. Murray. Well, not so much the case with Murray. Ball, uh, you can always tell the humidity in the air by the frizz factor. Murray leads to give some one. And uh, the Scott has. I'd be happy with proceedings right now, though, would he? Two on third set. He leads one set all. Yes, 59. Used to be called the Telstra Dome, but what is it called now? I think it's got new naming rights. Uh, the indoor. I think it's uh, Aussie, Aussie Rules or it's a cricket stadium. Again, yeah. another multi purpose facility. Branded the Etihad Stadium. So, New sponsorship deal. Yeah, yeah definitely. Happening. We've got to keep the sponsors happy, right, Mark? Of course. Just to be clear, it was the. It e used to be called the. It is the Etihad Stadium That's now, it. but it's absolutely it used to be the Telstra Dome. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ramage. Two back-to-back -back speedy holds for Milos. Battle well and truly joined here in Two set number two. three. Got a sneaky feeling this one's going to be decided by a buster. Yeah, three consecutive love games. Murray trying to make it four. Quartet of them. Good team up. Murray. It's more the same here. Copy and paste. Another speedy hole for Andy. He leads 3 2 here in the third.
15. This set percentage nice and high in this set for Milos. Almost 80%. It's won every single point on serve so far in set number three. Dangerous once he gets that ball below the heart of the net. 15. On. 15. Caught that volley behind him. Very much a sitting duck. And there's not that many aces in the Runic service game tonight. Part of the game plan is to direct the serves into the body, just like that. Stop the great returns of Murray. Forty fifteen. Type of serve just there that he saved up when he was set point down in the second set. Milos Murray was able to pick it and make him play a volley. You spread your finger like that when you serve? Oh, talking about it the other night. Yeah, round match. I find it such a, a weak position for me. Three games on. So you grow up with it, you do it every day from. The time you're eight years of age, Mark, I guess you just become used to it, right? I, I guess. We, I mean, you know, you and I kind of had toothpick serves compared to Milo, so this is true. Maybe, maybe we need to get back out there Absolutely. and start experimenting. Oh, missing a trick. Yeah. Power pose with a finger. Next for serve. Oh, wasn't totally convincing with that approach. It was a little half hearted. He's paid the price. Again, no urgency coming forward behind it either. Previous points into the incident it was the first point that Murray's also lost on serve in this set. This guy's been cruising. Thirty fifteen.
30 on. So the first occasion that one of the players out Jim there. He's just in a spot of trouble. 30 all. Slatter up wide on the juice that went down the middle. Still on a serve here after seven games of the third set. A long way to go still as we enter our third hour of this contest. Both have been very strong on serve in the third. Thirty. Just giving it a little dose back on Murray. Off pace serve wide. Remember, he's been focusing plenty of body serves on that first yes. four. Who's on surf? Murray's played 17 points, excuse me, 18 points on his surf. Brownage 17. Compare that to the second set where he played 42 points. Yeah. Federation Square there. Another part of that kitchen. Robbie, you're just a lift now. Closing stages of this Love set. Two exquisite backhands. Oh, I thought maybe you'd just squeeze that wide. But a handy pick up with the two-hander. That was the key, wasn't it? How early he took it. Smothered it. It's a little time away from Andy. <laughs> they were happy there, the coach's box. going forward and ripping it with the deceleration and you don't get the pace through the shot that's why you miss it in the net 
an opportunity here. Fifteen thirty. Ronich almost waiting for that and got himself out wide, but it didn't really slide out as much. Over cooking the forehand wide. This could be interesting now. A little bit of dryness in the throat there, I think, from both players. And I thought Ranish did okay there with the second serve return. Pick up from Murray was exquisite again. Favoring his favorite shot, going cross court with the forehand. The feel is so much better with that than when he goes down the line. Nice pick up up the line, almost off his shoelaces. Look at concern there. Yeah. Carlos Moya and Ricardo Piatti. It's both working with Ranich now. That first serve. I love 30. They would have been feeling pretty good about the situation. Nilo should won one of the next three points. He's got a break point. Murray's responded well. Oh, how's that for a reflex volley? He was ready. Murray leads. Get caught. It almost cost him, but he's done well. 5 4, he leads third set. Plenty of plus scoreboard pressure here in the 10th game of this third set. See there on that point from Murray. Yeah, I think if you're Emily, you don't mind that kind of point. You know, he has missed with the forehand. It's the intent that's so good. So decelerating on it. With coaches, uh, we'll call it a good miss. Probably covered two thirds of the court to, of the options available. Murray did very well to get back into it. And that was really the only way that he could win the point freely with that forehand. Raonic, unless he created some amazing angle with the off. Oh. 
Wait, 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 please. please. Standing inside the baseline. I almost hit him on the fly. Another long licking serve. Look at the spin on it, always moving away from Murray. For me, one of the best service motions in our sport at the moment. Tilts at the shoulders, leads with the left arm. Everything is going up. And coil is beautiful. Nothing in it. attention to some detail not in a hurry to hit down the court with power and he knows how well Murray defends right so you almost got to hit around him mm -hmm. so difficult to go through him One of those that D excels from the Murray forehand. Love He's trying to redirect it down the line. So does he go back to the well here, Murray? Sliding it wide. I think so. Surely you've got to go off to the second serve. Oh, is that quality. It's almost like from here we could hear the sizz mm. coming off the court. Oh, that came adorned with all manner of spin. Players have got that uh, uncanny ability to produce at the right moments. Murray is challenging the call on the left far sideline. The ball was got out. Find the big serve. Has he found it here? Oh, he's just missed out. Second serve. Raonic has to expect this on the forehand side. Not really moving over to cover it, though. On. I can't believe he's played that shot. Well, I think it, uh, for, for me, Robbie, it also highlights Murray that Raonic is not looking to finish the point or play the point proactively. Just kind of pedestrian return, and he's hanging back behind the baseline. 15.30 at this stage of the match. Second serve, you've got to have a bit of a hit and be looking to use your your, your width, your reach. It's back to back games now. Murray's been down low 30, he's won three points on the bounce. 43. Yeah, it's the most annoyed we've seen around a chore match. It'll shake of the head there. Yes. 
you wonder whether maybe in Ronich's head right now. Again. Murray might change the, check the direction of serve. Please. Probably coming to the backhand or to the body. Of shot, you think there that off that backhand, or Murray just getting off balance and combination. Yeah, I think when you do pound Again. Murray's forehand, he likes to lean back a bit, Please. give himself extra time. But Practice. you know, when you play that shot with that much pace and you lean back, you run the risk of missing it wide. Good option though for Milos here. Got to tear that first target no matter what. Thank you. Thank you. when he's in attack mode. So he was, wasn't uh, preoccupied trying to manipulate the ball. There was a bit of power in all of those shots, very heavy. Service Murray game for Murray, but he comes through. He leads 6 5 in the third set. Fantastic pick up off the return. Yeah, I need a little bit more left hand there. Cool it in. Team 
That's a wicked spin there. I think he overran it. And Murray. 30 on. Mm -hmm. oh, he goes past the ball and then he's got to adjust. Expecting more of an angle from Milos. if you had made that 40 30 hard in the mouth moment there for the canadian Let's see just watch that one sell wide and this is the, the builder for murray to be able to get racket on the return and stay in the point make these shots even though he's just missing sending a signal to ray on it early on. Six games on, third set, seven. Well, I think both players received one additional challenge. This was going to be decided by a tiebreaker, this third set, and it's proved to be the case. Totally committed to this backhand. Thank you. Mm. It's a shank you very much. I've certainly seen the full dimensions of the court in the last couple of rallies, Mark. Get on the backhand side and now the forehand. opening up the racket face perhaps catching it a little early as well I'd rather see him miss that volley deep two one <laughs> Ramage. Certainly the build-up uh, in his fourth round match against Vavrinka had a number of chances. Just after several went past, he then began to get around and use that forehand. Proactive tennis. Next for sure. Next, 
Three, two. Ronich. And he's taking a page out of Ronich's book there. He's going with the big body surf. The desired result. like that head down just marching to the change of ends gee this is a big point for the Canadian now just ha have that buffer. He moves out to five points to two. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Murray is jumping in the ball on the right first sideline. The ball is coming. I mean, Murray's thinking for sure he's going to get a look at another shot. That is simply too good. Just painting the line there. Five, two, Ramage. Murray has two challenges remaining. There's no room you, please. for Murray to maneuver now. Tennis ball. Yeah. Five, four, We're moving a little Ramage. lateral at the moment. Ranich on the first court. Poor Raonic, the way he's mixed up that approach shot hasn't been too predictable. And a couple of great bounce smashes. What a staying cool after this one coming back. He's earned himself two set points. Game and Big time tennis from the big Canadian. Delivering it when it matters most. And he Seven takes a two three. sets to one lead in the semi finals of the Australian Open. Round it, two sets to one. Canadian to start the fourth. Thank 
Cody. He's not providing a lot of pace on that backhand approach shot. Murray not being able to create enough angle for himself. Yeah, good damage. That was just the start here that I want to. First game in foot sets. Very authoritative. And it doesn't, he doesn't have to wait, Robbie, until he gets to a 30-all or a break opportunity to really go for the return, Milos. It's got to be really from the first point, the first, second serve that he sees. Just try and display some aggression. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting minutes. numbers, Mark. Um, Raonic is leading two sets to one. He's uh, 18 and three. Those are healthy numbers, right? It certainly are. 18 wins, just three losses. When two sets to one up. Murray on the other side of the coin, and he's uh, two sets to one down, is 11 and 18. Mm. You're First. casting a very dark shadow. Just telling you what the numbers are telling us. Box. Oh, so right now, neither of these players are thinking about that. Game on. It shows you how important that third set is in the outcome of these five set matches. So often the pivot points. Oh, it's definitely swayed in favor of the Canadian now. Good evening.
change up, beating Murray. Mm -hmm. Frustrating that he didn't pick it up early enough. 40 love. Just there, an example, the difference between the service speeds, 176 on the previous point, 212 just there. First time he's hit that shot today. 40 the fact that he gets there, it's what you do once you get there. You able to control that racket head at the end of your range, hit the ball exactly where you want to go. A strong hold from Ranic. He leads 2-1 in the fourth set. He also leads by two sets to one. Ranic leads two games to one. We'll take a lot out of these guys. Please take any seat for now. He's ready for playing. Especially if it goes to a fifth set. Time. Ranic should be hoping that he can get the job Thank done you. here. Thank Excuse me. In four sets. I would have loved to have done it in straights, wouldn't he have? A four set victory. Thank you. Save some energy because he's going to need every Please. ounce of it. Both of them will if they take on the world number one. So it's still a long way from the finishing line yet. Oh, that's nice. Strike that one. Love the team. So a great opening point for Milos. Nice lean on the back end. Helps with the trajectory. There's one of those serves that I just... Murray getting away with 129Ks. A lot of safety to it down the middle of the court. Milos not making him play. Oh, this is a, a mighty pickup from Murray. Not really behind the ball, having to use his arm. Still able to get it down nice and low. Forty fifteen. Cheap points from Milos in this game. It's going to make Murray work hard. It'll take as much energy out of him with the, each and every opportunity he has. No free points. Not missing the net. Left for six. Two games over. Certainly one that could have been for Ronic there. You're right, Bonk. I agree with you. Yeah, after the, the opening point, he played a blinder. Backed it up with a passive second point.
Ground is shown to the cone, the right near sideline. The ball was called in. I, I think it's wide. Yeah, it's well wide. The team loves Yeah, that, that one, I, I, I agree. I, but what about I, the I one on it. set point, first set? Yeah, that, no, this one, I, I, I knew I had this. I thought you were going to hit it, I just didn't get there. I don't have time to play him, not you. I understand that. He's looking for a little bit of help every now and then. That's all he's, he's planting that seed in umpire's mind. These days, Woody, they like to put the onus on the players, don't they? It's either just missing or just touching. to the Canadian. These are the kind of games he needs. Quick holds. Keep the momentum working in his favor. Forty fifty. that he's serving first as well. Certainly helps upstairs, Mark. Big plus, yep, just to keep riding it through. Knowing that Murray always has to play catch up. Oh! A little more sticky when it comes to the latter end for Murray to extract himself out of a tougher game. This game becomes an example of what I was talking about two points ago. Short forehand he had off the net court around us. He's got to, he's got to put that away or at least make it. But now he loses that easy point. Murray's annoyingly close here at 40 30. Should have been a, an easy hold. Just, you know, sweaty palm territory now. You don't want these kind of situations to unfold if you're Milos, if you can avoid it. A little bit of breathing room here. He leads 3 2, fourth set, and by two sets to one. Hurry playing catch up. The team the
looks more like it. Lethal with that back end pass. Not quite as much pace it allows Murray to just rebalance. See the recovery there. Head down. Oh. Murray sends in the call on the left far sideline. The ball is cut out. Yeah, if it's missed, it's by the narrowest of margins. This must have looked good off the racket. Just missed. 30 15. Murray has two challenges remaining. Please. Again, Murray. There really is fired up and showing good body language. Three games mm -hmm. over. Got to deal with one of the best serves in our business, and it's a massive advantage when you enter these stages in some of the biggest matches that you've ever played in your life to this point, Mark. Robbie, I wonder how it, that last forehand or the, on the second last point was a wild miss hit from Milos. I mean, I. A little different if it just goes Love wide, but it was I mean, right off the top of the frame, sent long. You know, trying to think back to the times when, with a miss hit, it really rocked me. Yep. Good start here for Murray. Oh, this time it's up. Thank you very much, Love Scott. as many on four stairs of the backhand side. by the horns in this game. His will to win remains undiluted. Irrespective of the fact he's down two sets to one. Three break points. Result leads 
Well, well, well. So whether it was the the injury timeout, go back to that miss hit forehand, miss by a long distance, but it, the seed of doubt starting to possibly emanate from Milos there. Very different look visually in that last game. Dropping serve to love. Time. Thank you, please. please. Any seat for now, please. please. The first couple of points here are of vital importance for Murray just to try and keep the momentum, assert his authority. Fifteen months. And now the body language also changing of uh, Radic. I think a, a few words to himself. And of course, if he is suffering some sort of uh, niggle in the groin area, how's that going to hold up over five sets? How yeah. bad is it? We don't know. Well, he's certainly getting testing, being put to the test, because Murray just pushing him out wide to the forehand. Just a change of pace there from Andy as well. Back in and forced there are starting to mount for the big fella. Coming up in there and look at that grimace there. Mm -hmm. A couple of single-handed backhands were just way off balance. Game out at the first time of asking. Don't let Brownich hang about, and he knows it. It's a routine forehand. Thank you. Mm. Big misses. All of a sudden, Murray Please. back in a pickle here.
advantage Kralic. All goes back to that easy forehand at 40-15. Wouldn't be in this situation. Just taking a little bit more care. Additional spin on it. Back please. Please. 40-15 up. Murray is now break point down. Really piling up the pressure on the right. Runic backhand there. It was one Doom. good attempt at a pass. Second one, he just sat on it up the line. Do you think he wants it? Oh, it's a great reaction. Fully committed. I like the drop shot here. I know he's pulled off a couple of good ones, but put the pressure on Raonic. Make him run and hit passing shots against you. It's so difficult to pull off that lob. We've seen it time and time again now. He's got a good smash on him and a good hop. There's the Canadian. Advantage, Murray. Pacey return stayed low, but Murray hooks it back. Wrong foots, the Canadian. Again. That's more like it. Again. Murray. Averts the crisis. Murray leads five to three. Game could have been over a couple of minutes ago. Him. Next question. Good to know.
because he knows he should be making it. He holds himself to such high standards. 30 low. Mm -hmm. Thirty fifteen. Just slides you on the white right. And white enamel paints just a little smoother than the rest of the court. You know what will be interesting if he is hurting? He might just start going for everything, going for broke. That could work in his favor. It could it, uh, implore him to just try a few more forehands as such. Seems to be bothering him though as well on the serve as he's making contact and coming down. Just not responding uh, after hitting the serve. That right leg is taking a while to pull off the court. Looks like it's the right leg, the outside leg there on that forehand. Okay. If this goes five, in my books, there's only going to be one winner if there's any hint of injury to the Canadian. backhand down the line with regularity you better watch out because that's when he is brimming with confidence coming out of his shoes to bring up set point Challenging the call on the right near sideline. The ball is caught. A little bit, but it was out. Right. Yeah. Deuce. Deuce. Advantage serve. Murray has one challenge remaining. Flush on the line. 
Oh, he's even picked it reasonably early himself. Juice. Advantage runners. Not a bad serve, but let's see if we can get the reaction of Vanage there. Almost pulling up a little ginger. Yeah. Oh, what a way to finish that game off. He's still alive and kicking in this fourth Very set. Murray will serve for it when we come back from the break. Perhaps you can only get treats on the change events. Please. Can't Just take a medical timeout for that now. Murray serving to level things up at two sets apiece. Getting around on the forehand. Please. Please. Certainly, this is the side. Just not uh, balance at all. Forehand doesn't really hinder the power. See what Murray's trying to do is just move Milosh out to the forehand so it exposes that backhand wing. is the best form of defense, Mark. Well, it, now he's forced into this situation, isn't he, Milos? Trying to use the forehand and finishing the points, if possible, up at net there. Using his height, his reach. Thank you. Mortified is Murray that he's now facing another break point. Done. Ditto for the last comments I made. 30 40. Looking to be proactive, looking to be aggressive and come forward. Ace dividends. Still not out of the woods yet. Right. 
juice. Juice. And still with his favourite serve. He's flushed that on the line, hasn't he? Just there, that second serve. It's pretty close to it. Close enough to be uncomfortable for the big fella. An expensive miss. Advantage, Murray. Set point number two. Six the Six second semi-final at the Australian Newman Opens, is. two sets apiece. Here we go. Stop fitting. Round it just five set it came a couple of rounds ago when he beat to Stan Vavrinka here, as I mentioned. It's only five sets he's played here. Murray has only won one of the four that he's contested. He was beating Roger Federer in 2013. He lost to Novak the year before. Fernando Vadesca, remember that match? 2009 and 2007. Rafael Nadal got the better of him in five sets. Disappointment that the mental Love scars the are starting to hurt the Canadian. He's a lot further from the finishing line that he was uh, just a short moment ago, deep in the fourth set. But the other thing to consider if you're on a chat and you feel that you, if you go down a break here and this injury is really bothering you and you know you can't compete at the highest level and beat this guy. I mean, you've got to be careful about how much damage you cause to your body, right? You still got a whole season ahead of you. I mean, it's going to be tough to beat him anyway if you're 100% fit, let alone carrying an injury. What effect that could have down the road. Does that even come into your mind, Mark? 1540. You, you know, from my own personal experience, uh, you, you know, was vulnerable on my left hammy uh, adductor. You know, there's still the idea is to try and win the match and then, you know, not really focusing on the rest of the season. Sums up our conversation right there. First game, the final sets. The violation of record abuse warning Mr. Ramage. And a couple of good swipes at the court. And this is, you know, through the matches that I've seen in, uh, in this tournament, Robbie, I mean, there's been so. Um, outward emotion he's never reacted in the in the matches and then it's like you see a glimpse of it and you know that something's bothering him i i, I just wish 
he'd move away from the robotic responses uh, that we've seen for most of this match. I'd rather see a bit more emotion, you know, maybe mm -hmm. a bit more over to his box with a couple of fist pumps. And it's like he's so fearful of actually, you know, investing that, that energy. Also thinking about the team. Mm -hmm. Being fe fearful of doing so much damage to your body for the rest of the season. It really bothered him last season. Just when he got to career high ranking, it was yep. injuries that set him back. Yeah. Um, and it's tough to be totally committed when you're feeling pain. Oh, oh. oh. oh Lady Luck is with Murray as well. So, you know, only he knows how bad it is right now. We can speculate all we want here. Yeah, and, you know, he has spent, you know, two periods out of the game. Had a serious groin injury a number of years ago when he fell over at, at Wimbledon that forced him out for the rest of that year as well. So he, obviously, that's it. That's what he's dealing with. Uh, He's internalising all that right now, isn't he? Yeah. He's got to make that decision. You, you know, for me, I wasn't looking at the rest of the season. I, I don't think I ever injured myself that badly where it would have been costly for six months. Very much in charge of proceedings here. Break to the good in the fifth set. And Murray keeping it tighter than that tax man's purse. Not once has he been in double digits as far as the unforced errors are concerned by set. First the forehand, now the backhand. Thirty fifteen. Brilliant. Brilliant retrieving from both players. Brownic giving a couple of good, healthy hits on the forehand. Oh. 
Pushing round it back mm -hmm. very quickly. Not being able to just soak up the pace. It's in the side, it's tougher to push off from. And he hits the open stops forehand. there having to play a few extra shots Screws tightening even further. Yeah, this is like a match point. Murray very much in charge of this one now. Just three games away Murray from the place in the Sunday season. showpiece final. Please. Good team. Good team. Thank you. 
just caught him. 40 to bogey. Just like laying the trap now, isn't it? When Milos gets to net, there's still got to be some pressure applied on that affected area. That service works so well from crucial stages in this match. Yes. Very strong to call on the right baseline, the ball was caught in. Good challenge. Of the team. Running forehand cross court. Get it up. Oh. The team put it his return rate must have increased, yes. Milos's serve has been compromised, but Murray has just been able to make him play over and over. He's Today, he would have endeared himself to a lot of fans. He would have made a lot of new fans for the effort that he's put forth. Uh, then it's rubbish. So, quite finished yet.
check the turn. Advantage, Murray. Grass always round. I should have missed this volley. Just caught it on the frame. Angled the racket too much. to hit into either corner firm and can be the worst choice. Advantage Murray. Get the feeling we're close to the last rights. Another break point here for Andy. Murray. It's just hard to really analyze it at, at the moment. You know that one person is absolutely compromised. Yep. Just know the end is coming. Yep. That's the feeling I have anyway. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. That sound harsh, but it's pretty much the reality of the situation. It's, it's the drop shot that he played. It's being a little careless on that volley. He might need to make those in the first set against Djokovic. You betcha. Yeah, you I, th I think that just erodes you mentally. Ronich gets a digit alongside his name in the fifth set. Murray, though. Very much in charge at 4 1. Your yeah, after all, this is just extra energy. And you're talking team. about nth degrees when you take on the world number one. Every little bit helps. And save five minutes of energy. For me, it's more importantly what it does for him mentally.
59. Yeah, better feeling as a player than closing a match up quickly and efficiently. Yeah, definitely. Murray. Murray leads back to the We've been in uh, full voice, yeah, a little bit subdued in the uh, first and third sets, but always been behind their man. You've got to applaud around its efforts in this fifth set more. Could have easily, you know, put the rackets in the bag. Love three, two breaks. Plenty of character sticking this out. And it's all just additional experience, I guess, uh, to keep in the toolbox. can do. And now Milos Maranich will force Andy Murray to serve this one out. Murray leads 5-2, fifth set. Good 
Kuchinda. After four hours and two minutes, Andy Murray has finally arrived Please. at triple match point. Quite pleased. Thank you.